name's Frank Cooper. I'm a senior lecturer and the technical manager within the Jewellery Industry Innovation Centre, part of the School of Jewellery in Birmingham. We were set up some eight or nine years ago to work in conjunction with local industries, primarily jewellery and silversmithing industries, to give them access to various high-end technologies that they might not normally have access to. This was to allow them to assess and evaluate the the potential for adopting those technologies into their businesses. So people can have typically have access to us for 30 hours and they can have that in the form of tuition or they can uh, just ask us to produce some patterns for them. Um, it's sort of a, a, an unbiased extended evaluation of some of the processes. So what we say to companies is you need you know don't ask us to tell you which is the perfect technology you have to assess the products you're going to make, the methods you're going to use to manufacture them, compatibility with your CAD programs, and most importantly of all, your budgets. We've worked quite closely with um, two, two local uh, companies within the, the Birmingham Jewellery Quarter who specialise in the casting of jewellery items. Both of these companies were interested in exploring which prototyping systems they should consider adopting for their businesses and they were able to come to us and test SolidScape, Envision Tech, all the different options that were available to them. And actually, I'm, I am aware that both of those companies then went away and adopted the SolidScape system. If we need some casting uh, prototypes producing that we are 99.9% .9 certain will work in the casting process, then we will go to the SolidScape machines. This is a, an example of a cross produced by a colleague of mine here. Um, and it is a pectoral cross, and this was made for the cathedral at Litchfield. It's been built on a, the Soliscope T66, um, and you can see we've even left the bend in, the, which is how it was, it was dug, it, dug up. If we have um, a very valuable piece of material, or uh, an artifact, they'll want to touch it. Um, it's the tactile experience. We can produce reproductions so that the museum can have the original behind glass where it's safe. Solidscape has its niche. It will, in my view, continue to retain that niche for a long, long time. Um, there is nothing out there on the horizon that, that really is challenging it. We have this expression here in the UK of horses for courses, and the Solidscape machine is the right horse for the course it's on at the moment. Yeah.